All right. So today I'm presenting with me the McCain family. They're from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I have on the show with me Lakeisha and Charles. They own a music school and they're here to tell me a little bit about their school and uh, so we can help them promote their business online. How are you guys? Ready yourself. Pretty good. Pretty I'm good. good. Thank you. Um, so Lakeisha, I'll start with you, ladies first. Uh, tell me a little bit about you before we delve into the business itself. Uh, so, I don't know where to start. Um, obviously, my name is Lakeisha McKay. I, I've pretty much been an entrepreneur most of my life. Uh, my parents were entrepreneurs, and so they, they kind of embedded that in us, where it was taught to us to be entrepreneurs, and that while education is important, that the key of life is business, and um, education is merely a tool to assist you with everything else that you do in life. And so I took that with me in it. And all my life, I've pretty much been pursuing business. I flunked out of college a few times to pursue business and I kept going. Awesome. So that was the Lakeisha story. I will delve into that more. So Charles, um, tell me about you. Hey, how you doing? Um, my name is Charles. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of the opposite of my wife. We're kind of yin and yang. Mm -hmm. For me, I would say Growing up, it was mostly about arts. My specifically, my grandmother, you know, kind of embedded arts in us. And she she saw we had a talent, you know. And music was just kind of a thing that was always there. Every Saturday was music lessons. From elementary school, I was always either playing a drum or going into middle school, uh, trumpet or it was dancing or something. But music was a big part of my life. I went through all the way through high school to college. Uh, I have a education in music, bachelor's in jazz studies. So, um, yeah, I'm the fun one. She's kind of a little more. She kind of keeps me contained. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that that's the way to go. If both of you were same personality types, then it wouldn't work. So, going back to Leticia. So when we got the press release, uh, we read it. It's a great story that you were writing, and our goal is. Uh, to help people like you, entrepreneurs, to get to the next level. Uh, so tell me what prompted you to go online? Because I've always felt that, you know, you need to be in front of the teacher to learn the music with the instrument. So how, how are you going to make this happen with the online classes? Right. Uh, so initially, when we started our business, we started with in-home music lessons, which is still a big part of our business. But then... Mm -hmm. um, as technology continues to grow, we see that there is, with technology, there is no borders. There is no limit to who you can help and how you can help. With music lessons, it's always been a thing where it's only the ones that can afford it then can have access to private music lessons. But with the internet, it takes the borders off because mm. um, it decreases the amount that it costs you to run the business significantly. But then not only that, is you can be in Port Lauderdale and provide music lessons for somebody all the way in China. And mm -hmm. there's no limits there. But mm -hmm. yes, there is the side where there's nothing that replaced that face-to-face -face interaction. There's nothing that replaced the teacher holding your hand and showing you where the right keys are. And so while that is something that we will continue to work to master that, to make sure that we perfect it, um, it does at least open the borders, especially with the COVID-19 where now kids are at home and mm -hmm. there is no creative outlet. They're limited to what they can and what they can't do. And so... Um, with the online music lessons, it still at least gives them the opportunity to tap into that creative side and have something proactive to do um, while still stimulating their brains. So you mentioned two things I just wrote down. Um, you mentioned kids. So is this just for kids or this is for anybody that wants to do it? Oh, it's for anyone, um, kids mm -hmm. or adults. I will be straight by Adult kids. Adult kids, yeah. Most time it's kids because mm. for some reason adults are like I'm so busy I have this going on I have that going on I don't have the time or they'll start lessons but then it's not consistent um, or they'll think um, my kid have a better chance of doing this than I do I'm too old for it now when really there is no age for this yeah that there is no age so when when they approach you whether it's a kid or adult 
what is the instrument of choice that they can learn or is there a limitation? Um, so initially with the launch of this program, it's going to be piano and guitar lessons. Um, just because drums and other instruments are a little bit more complicated um, mm -hmm. to do via Skype or Zoom video. So, but at least piano, piano and keyboard, there's a lot more development in terms of technology that can help make sure that that process is being facilitated correctly. Okay, um, so let's ask Charles some few questions. So Charles, um, since you are one of the instructors, um, what are the challenges that you find, whether it's kids or adults, uh, when they come to you completely raw? What are the challenges that they face uh, when they're starting off? What are the things that they need to have? Because a lot of people think, you know, music is not for me, I can't learn it. Art is not for me, I can't learn it. So what are the advice, things that you can tell them so they don't have that fear, you know? I think, I think the main thing is, you know, you know, the positive mental attitude in, you know, if you feel like you should be doing music, most likely you should. And there's going to be a certain point in music where you really have to dig in and you have to really be positive and you have to keep going. You, you know, sometimes you reach uh, a measure or a subject in whatever instrument you're learning, if it's guitar or if it's drums, if it's, if it's a specific instrument or uh, something physical that you have to work out. It's not going to come one time. It's not going to come two times. Sometimes it might come 150 times, but you have to keep the positive mental attitude. Anybody can do it. Some people are born natural. They can just jump on something and they can play any instrument. You know, learn from one instrument. Oh, this is easy. Boom, boom, boom. Other people, you know, they have to work one subject at a time and they really work hard for it. And, you know, it, it just depends on the person and them saying, you know, make kids come and they say, cool. they want to they want to do music lessons and then they get to the first lesson and they see it's not as easy or to pass the first lesson they get a, they'll do a couple lessons and then they see it's not one two three and they want to quit on simply because it, it it's an illusion it, you know it's cool mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. kind of pretty hard work behind it if you're serious or some people even having fun it takes some hard work so mindset plays a big thing, right? Yes. Mental attitude, mindset. Uh, and I think uh, and you guys help them not just with the music, but also help them with the ability to get to that. Because a lot of people give up. And, you know, when we go to schools, when we are young, every kid wants to give up. But then there are teachers, they say, hey, you have the attitude. If you give up, you will continue giving up. So you'll be at the best a good giver you know, you will keep on giving, that'll be your best thing. Yeah. So absolutely. So going back to the instrument. So if I was to start music, how would I get the instrument? Do you guys provide guide? Uh, how do we get the instrument? So let's say it's piano, right? Mm -hmm. So do we order it online? Or is there an instrument online that one can use without buying something? How does that work? Yes, you could you could go online and get one. Sometimes you can find it local, even though right now mm -hmm. the pandemic some people are kind of yeah. edgy, but definitely online mm -hmm. there's good options. You you kind of need the instrument at home. There's no way to not have it, you know, in home and learn it through line. Mm -hmm. It's already the obstacle, you know, not physically being there, you know, so you have to show you, hey, this is D or this is C or this chord is A minor, you know, mm -hmm. so you really have to have the instrument and then, you know, the social media can help because sometimes you can screen share and you know sure, okay this is what you this is the note span you need all right to the left of the two black keys it's right here and then you can do it yourself in front of your face you know so so what is a piano piano of the choice that you guys recommend for this uh, program or starting point um, so really that's going to depend on the student's skill level um, whether they're starting at the beginner intermediate or advanced student um, but all the instructors do provide guidance as to how to choose an instrument based on a skill level. That's one of the things that we do ask um, initially when they fill out the application. We do a phone call with them where we ask them if they have the instrument already. And then the instructor provide guidelines to them about how to, um, what instrument to choose based on their skill level prior to the lesson if they don't have one. And then also we provide them with guidelines about where to order the instrument and um, perhaps looking at better deals because obviously there are some places where you'll get it for a better price than other um, places. 
And how long is this program for? So it's until June 30th. Okay. So when does it start? Um, so it's going to start on Monday. Monday? Yes. Okay. And until June 30th. So roughly two months. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much do you charge for this program? So the lessons are free. We're not charging anything for the lessons. Uh, awesome. The students do have an option to provide a donation if they want to. That donation actually goes to pay the instructors. Um, and the, the biggest part of the program right now is it's a two-sided thing where it's one in keeping the kids active and the adults as well. But then also it's ensuring that the, the instructors, musicians have a job because so many people have lost their job because of this pandemic. And we don't want that to be our instructors, so we would rather um, provide a solution for that. Awesome. That, and do you have, like, for donation, do you have a GoFundMe page or something? So on the application, when they're filling that mm -hmm. out, one of the questions on there does ask do they want to provide a donation, and they can choose the amount that they want to donate, whether it's $1 or $100. It gives them the option to choose whatever they can afford to donate. Cool. This is very exciting. I may be one of your students. I've always wanted to learn. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much for this. Uh, do you have any questions for me? No, not, as, not right now. All right. So let me tell you how this is going to go. So just like you, you're offering something for free. I started uh, this process. Uh, we do charge clients, but now we have a free program. And the free program is limited because what happens is the way our system works is we have a small system uh, which gets into small media which is free and then we selected people that were really passionate we are getting free requests from people from all over the world and they're writing stories and they don't really they're trying to sell themselves but those are not good stories to publish there's no newsworthiness right so we wanted to narrow down to give free to people that really really deserve this so you guys are one of them so we're going to publish this content but you are getting the small free which is what it was we are giving you the best free publicity that we could do so you can start driving traffic uh, and people find you so what we do is we optimize the story in a way that more people find you so if they were to search for music online in Fort Lauderdale they find you but they also find you if they were searching for music online um, so this doesn't happen all the time but uh, with this COVID-19 with the demand of the situation everybody's stuck at home we're trying to help as many entrepreneurs to have a breakthrough the only thing that we ask them to do is once this is done share it with social media so we can help more people like you that's all we ask for so that's awesome today your release will go live in a few hours and then you will get a link from our system and then um, uh, we will share some uh, wins with you as, as uh, this gets viral uh, and then of course you should share that on your social media as well uh, with your stories because your story will publish in USA Today that's one of our distribution partners so when people find you, you know, you can, you should put that badge as seen on USA Today or Fox News or ABC News, etc. These are the online mediums that we have partners with. So when you do that, people trust you more than just like that. So